What's this? <laughs> I wasn't ready for that. <laughs> I'm in another different vehicle. 2016 Nissan Navara. I borrowed this from Nissan Australia to test a camper van. And the camper van's not on the back at the moment. I've given that a go. Now I'm just going to see how it goes off-road by itself. So I'm out here in beautiful Jarradale area and this is the old Alcoa maintenance uh, trail for the railway line which is now disused. We're going to take this for a punt up the rails. So here's a little bit about it. This is the ST model and that's their middle of the range one. So power windows which is probably standard on everything these days. Uh, has a rear diff lock and a 2.3 litre twin turbo diesel engine which packs a fair bit of punch. So let's take it for a cruise and see how it goes up in here. On a scale of 1 to 10 how much engine is there? On a scale of 1 to engine there's about a lot. <laughs> so there's 2.3 litres of raw diesel power. 2.3? Why so small? Because that's how they like it these days. Yeah. Six speed automatic transmission. And this bad boy's got some poke. It's nice and quiet in here. Too quiet. <laughs> so quiet. And uh, the air conditioning's super good. But yeah, I'm used to being in that noisy little Subaru and even the 105 series Land Cruiser I was recently driving, very noisy. The motor's nice and quiet until you get it to its sort of upper rev range and then you've got that common rail rattle going on. But otherwise, road noise is very good. Wouldn't you say, Jake, you're the master of road noise? Yeah, it's not a Lexus, but uh, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's pretty quiet. It's, it's pretty quiet. It's definitely better than the old um, three-liter turbo diesel patrols. Yep. Or the, uh, well, the 2.8-liter turbo diesel patrols. Oh, that was yeah. a rally, rally old mate. Got a bit of a straight here on the dirt, so let's open it up. Should we wear our seatbelts? I think you oh. have to. Otherwise, <laughs> oh god, oh, it's a big hole. It's a big hole. <laughs> Nobody expected that. Put my seatbelt on. Down here, we've got the magic button. Rear diff lock. Now we have diff lock on, traction control off, and low range. <laughs> not too, yeah, not too difficult, but I don't own this car, so I'd better not scratch it. I was a bit worried about that tow bar kissing the dirt at the end there. What you moaning about? Didn't even touch ya. <laughs> I've just been round my neighbour's house to borrow a drill, <laughs> but he wasn't home. I wasn't Getting always there. this way. Are you taking the fucking? Bus? So now I'm in the back. Jake's oh, having, a, having a bit of a go. Yeah, uh, something I don't like. I'm not really a big fan of the styling. Um, most of it's okay, except for that bonnet. It's too fleshy. It's yeah, it's it looks really like someone's gunt. Fleshy as one. It looks like a gunt. I don't mind the dash in it. The dash looks wise. <laughs> <laughs> looks like it's seen some things. It does. It looks like, it's like a wise owl. What do you reckon of the legroom gnomes? It's not too bad. Just tops compared to it's the pretty, surf. Actually, it's, it's, yeah. Look at this, look at this. Yeah. Look at this, I can move my feet. Yeah, and Jake's got his Ooh, seat all the way. Place. The driver's seat's like all the way back. There's heaps of leg room. No, I've so got my driver's seat forward a little. Oh, you're crazy. Just a wee bit forward. <laughs> but even me. Look at all of this. I'm not well, a... I've got plenty of leg room. She's got plenty of leg room. I'm not yeah, a small man, comfy. but I'm not a big man either. But I got some leg room here. You're about an average sized man. Yeah, 
And that's but exactly what this I'm car was saying, designed for, it's, Alex. It's designed for the average man. It's not too big <laughs> and it's not too small. It's just, it's comfy. It's right there in the Goldilocks zone. Yeah. That's it. The Goldilocks, yeah. the Goldilocks zone. zone. So if you're abnormally large, probably don't buy this car. Yeah, if you're abnormally large, probably don't buy this car. If you're abnormally small, this is going to seem overly spacious for your needs. <laughs> <laughs> you know how you get old men that, or I guess old people in general, that just hate noise? Well, Jake's one of them, even though he's only 25. He's the only 25 year old I know with such in tune hearing. Yeah. And Jake reckons that he um, picks up a little bit of drone from the gearbox in the cabin. Your window's down there, Jake. Yeah. No, it's coming from down here. And you can hear it because the engine is so quiet and everything else is so quiet that you do pick up noises that you wouldn't hear on a louder four wheel drive. Put it this way, Jake wears Bose noise cancelling headphones with no music playing just so as the outside world of noise doesn't irritate him. <laughs> <laughs> Some say that he sucks the moisture from a duck. <laughs> I like this vehicle. I don't like the bonnet and Naomi and I have agreed that we don't like the way the windows don't go all the way down at the back. That's a bit silly but the interior is really nice. It feels like a step up from the D40 Navara, which I have a passionate hatred of after my younger brother had one and it kept breaking. Um, yeah, the dash feels well put together. The motor's powerful, pretty quiet. The gearbox, mint. Yeah, off-road, pretty good. It's got that locker in the back. I'd probably be putting one in the front as well, just because it's an independent axle vehicle and I like to do some rough stuff put some decent tyres on it and I think it could be quite a good vehicle but having said that A I wouldn't buy one because I'm not that rich and B I'd probably wait a year or two to see how other people go with them find out the common faults they have see if they really have sort of picked up their game from those D40s hill climbs it's doing a thousand rpm and it's climbing up the hill fine it's pretty talky hey yeah it's and you know you can't hear the turbo working that hard so no. I don't think Bo had much to say I, I didn't really did you no he liked he liked pretty much all the points that we pointed out everything's been covered to yeah. be honest the bonnet you know, and shit house and, yeah for you it's like if you get to come along for a ride I'm just happy to be here yeah, Jake. you, you yeah. did like it out in the bush new car mm. gonna go and have a feed at the pub now mm. chicken palmy palmies anything you want to add names um, I think we should take it up this. I don't think. Have you seen those boulders? I yeah, they're pretty boulder. great. That's a nice boulder. Yeah, we could go straight over them. I think we should go to the pub. Okay. Palmies. <laughs> was so boring. First, first, have a look at Jake's haircut. Yeah. Oh, Jake, come closer and reveal your haircut. <laughs> reveal. <laughs> I've missed a bit. <laughs> Not just a bit. Who's <laughs> <laughs> this bit? <laughs> Turn your head. <laughs> oh, Jake. What? The camera makes it so much more obvious than it really is. It's oh, great. Okay. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs>